A lady called her gynecologist and asked for an emergency appointment. The receptionist said to come right in. She rushed to the office and was ushered right into an examination room. The doctor came in and asked about her problem. She was very shy about her emergency problem and asked the gynecologist to please examine her vagina. So the doctor started to examine her. He stuck up his head after completing his examination. I'm sorry, miss, he said, but removing that vibrator is going to involve a very lengthy, delicate and expensive surgical operation. I'm not sure I can afford it, sighed the young woman. But while I'm here, could you just replace the batteries? <laughs> woman asked her husband if he'd like some breakfast, bacon and eggs, perhaps a slice of toast, maybe a nice sliced grapefruit, and a cup of fresh coffee. He declines. It's this he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At lunchtime, she asks if he would like something. A bowl of homemade soup, maybe? With a cheese sandwich? Or how about a plate of snacks and a glass of milk? Again, he declines. No thanks, it's this vi- he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At dinner time, she asked if he wants anything to eat, offering to send out for some curry. Or would you rather I make you a pizza from scratch? Or how about a tasty stir fry? That'll only take a couple of minutes. Once more, he declines. Again, thanks, but it's this vi- it's really taken the edge off my appetite. Well then, she says, would you mind getting off of me? I'm f starving. <laughs> Farmer ordered a high-tech milking machine. It happened that the equipment arrived when his wife was away, so he decided to test it on himself first. He inserted his penis into the equipment, turned the switch on, and voila, everything else was automatic. He really had a good time because the equipment provided him with as much as pleasure as his wife did. When the fun was over, he found out that he could not take the instrument off. He read the manual, but did not find any useful information. He tried every button on the instrument. Some made the equipment squeeze, shake, or suck harder or softer but still without success. Panicking, he called the supplier's customer service hotline. Hello, I just bought a milking machine from your company. It's fantastic, but how can I take it off the cow's udder? Customer service replied, don't worry. The machine was programmed to release automatically after collecting about two gallons of milk. <laughs> Very good looking man walks into a singles bar, gets a drink and takes a seat. During the course of the evening, he tries to chat with every single woman who walks into the bar, with no luck. Suddenly a really ugly man, and I mean really ugly man, walks into the bar. He sits at the bar and within seconds he's surrounded by women. Very soon, he walks out of the bar with two of the most beautiful women you have ever seen. Dishearted by all of this, the good-looking man asks the barman, Excuse me, but that really ugly man just came in here and left with those two stunning women. What's his secret? He's as ugly as sin, and I'm everything a girl could want. But I've not been able to hook up all night. What's going on? Well, says the barman, I don't know how he does it, but he does the same thing every night. He walks in, orders a drink, and just sits there licking his eyebrows. <laughs> Guy goes to the post office to interview for a job. The interviewer asks him, are you a veteran? The guy says, why yes, in fact, I served two years in Vietnam. Good, says the interviewer, that counts in your favor. Do you have any service-related disabilities? The guy says, in fact, I am 100% disabled. During a battle, an explosion removed my private parts, so they declared me disabled. It doesn't affect my ability to work, though. I'm sorry to hear about the damage, but I have some good news for you. 
I can hire you right now. Our work hours are 8 to 4. Come on in about 10 and we'll get you started. The guy says if working hours are from 8 to 4, why do you want me to come at 10? Well, here at the post office, we don't do anything but sit around and scratch our butt for the first two hours. We don't need you here for that. <laughs> men go together at a reunion. Three of them had sons and they started bragging about them, while the fourth guy went to the bar to get some drinks. The first man said his son was doing well. He now owned a factory manufacturing furniture. Just the other day he gave his best friend a whole house full of brand new furniture. The second man said his son was doing just as well. He was a manager at a car sales firm. Why? Just the other day he gave his best friend a Ferrari. The third man said he was doing well too. He was a manager at a bank. Why? Just the other day he gave his best friend the money to buy a house. The fourth man came back and the other three told him they were just talking about how successful their sons were. He just shook his head and said his son was gay and hadn't amounted to much. But he must be doing something right because just the other day he was given a house, furniture and a Ferrari by his lovers. <laughs> morning, the members of a farm family were coming to the kitchen for breakfast. Just as Junior said it himself, his mother told him he was not going to get anything to eat until he went to the barn and fed the animals. Irritated at this, he stomped out of the door and headed for the barn. As he fed the chickens, he kicked each one in the head. As the cow bent down to start in on the fresh hay he had just put in the stall, he kicked it in the head. He poured food for the pigs and as they started eating, he kicked them in the head. He went back to the kitchen and sat down again. His mother was furious. I saw what you did and as you kicked your chickens, you'll get no eggs for breakfast and since you kicked the cow, you'll get no milk and no bacon or sausage because you kicked the pigs. Just then, the father came down the stairs and nearly tripped on the family cat. On impulse, he kicked the cat off the stairs. The boy looked at his mother and asked, Are you going to tell him or should I? <laughs>